What's up, Ant City, and welcome to another discussion video on the channel. I know it's been a minute since I've posted one of these. I believe the last one I did was a Xenoverse 3 video, so it's been a minute since we did that. But today, I wanted to make this video because I have a theory about Dragon Ball games, you know, the anime and manga. Like, I have a theory about all things Dragon Ball that I wanted to bring up today because after the recent news we got for Xenoverse, Fighters... Uh, you know, there's just been a bunch of recent news that kind of, I don't know, it's pretty interesting to me. Let, so let's just go ahead and jump straight into it, you know. So the first thing I want to talk about is Xenoverse 2. So at the battle hour, we learned that obviously we're getting Legendary Pack 1. They showed off the trailer and all that, which this the battle hour was two days ago from when I'm recording this Saturday. So it's been two days. Got a whole day to think about this theory. But yeah, so the battle hour was two days ago. We got confirmation that the i believe march 16th is when legendary pack one is coming out right but that's not that's not the main point here the main point is that we also learned that they are doing a legendary pack two now here's the thing about this so okay which th this the xenoverse point is kind of a more minor point because this xenoverse could really go either way but we'll, we'll do let me i'll just bring it up anyway so basically this dlc pack legendary pack one or two my bad legendary pack two is presumably the pack that we get to vote for the character right and they already told us that the dlc is coming out this fall so that lets me know two things one they've already you know uh they've already like pre-made all the characters right they they already told it like since we're getting to vote for a certain list of characters that lets me know that they've already created all the characters and they're just waiting to see what we pick right so the yeah that's like the main thing it lets me know no, and then two, the other thing about this, which just is just a theory, right? Like this could have no real, no real basis behind this. It's just not by itself, anyways. When it connects to the other information, I'll tell you, it'll make more sense. But basically, the other thing that I'm getting out of this is, since we get to vote for what's coming next, it's possible that that this could be the last DLC pack. Now, again, take this with a grain of salt. I I don't know anything. You know, I don't have any inside information. This is just, just a theory. I'm saying like. I'm saying that and people are probably going to be like, no, Xenoverse is never going to stop getting DLC. It'll make more sense later. Just bear with me here, okay? Let's just say that this is the last DLC and I feel like it'd be a good way to end off letting us vote for the last characters. You know, the last DLC pack, give people, you know, let the community vote for what's last. That would make sense to me. That Like, I feel like that's a good way to end it off. But again, I think a lot of it depends on what context. Because we don't know anything else about Legendary Pack, dude. We don't know what's happening with it. We don't know what's going to be in it in terms of like free update what else is coming with the characters like we don't know anything so it's very possible that this isn't the last dlc pack and yeah so that that's really like i said is more of a minor point but when i connect it to the other information it'll start to make more sense so yeah but i think it'd be it makes sense for this to be the last dlc character but a counter argument to that that i will bring up is like i said i believe that they pre-made all the characters already so it's possible that they release all of those characters that were on the vote like that, so the characters on the vote, which I'll put a picture, is UI Goku, Bergamo, Dispo, and GT Vegeta. That's all we know for now. There could be more, but those were the only four that we actually saw. So it's possible that since, you know, like I said, they already confirmed the release date is coming this fall. So that means they probably already have all those characters made, right? So it's possible that they, they do drop them all for DLC. But again, as more information comes out and we see more about them, we'll, I can kind of further my theory about this because another thing like like okay for example so when supreme kai had time dropped in xenoverse she had an updated model which people were talking about like why would they update supreme kai time's model like she had a completely remade model so if these dlc characters coming out also have remade models that would kind of say to me that they're that they're backporting these characters from xenoverse 3 so xenoverse 3 is made or like the models at least are made for these characters and they're backboarding them but we'll have to wait on that you know like i said this is all just speculation everything in this video but that's kind of like a minor point like i said earlier it's not really a main point that i'm trying to come up with but okay me from the future here real quick to bring you a point about xenoverse that i forgot to mention during the video while i was recording but basically just real quick the company that's behind the xenoverse games recently renewed their license for a xenoverse 3 website domain so it's not an official website yet but the name dragon ball xenoverse 3 like dragon ball xenoverse 3.com they renewed their license for it because they had the license for it back when they made xenoverse 2 they bought the website domain name just in case 
but this year they went ahead and renewed it this is kind of old news so you probably already knew about that but i just wanted to bring it up as another point to why xenoverse 3 could be happening soon because why would they renew the license for the site if they're not planning to make the game you know uh yeah but anyways back to the video the next big point here is gonna be fighters so when it comes to fighters so we already know super saiyan 4 gogeta is coming out right he's the next character coming out uh they didn't say he's the final character ever right they just said he's the final character for this season pass but they never announced that they're gonna do a season four or anything like that right so i mean it's possible they're just saving the announcement for later right but here's the thing that kind of lets me that kind of leads me to believe that super saiyan 4 gogeta is the final character that they're making so the intro to fighters like you know when you load up the game and it like plays the intro for like showing off all the characters apparently well not apparently i saw it for myself they updated the intro to include all the dlc characters so to me it's like well that's like it would make sense for them to do that if they're intending for that intro to be the final definitive version of the intro so it like represents all the characters and fighters so it's like why would they go ahead and make that because you got to think since the intro already came out like people have already seen it there's no way that they just did it last minute like you know it's not like they dropped gogeta then decided later oh let's update the intro it's like no they were planning to update this intro with gogeta coming out so to me it's like well why would you want to do that if you're still planning to make dlc you know so i feel like they're not going to do any more dlc for fighters because if they were going to continue to do dlc why would they update the intro and make it like this definitive version again it's possible that they do it you know they update it later they do more dlc later but yeah so i don't know and then like and another thing is super saiyan 4 gogeta takes up the last slot on the roster which i mean they have moved around the character roster before to fit dlc characters but it's like again if they're planning more dlc i feel like they would have because you know like i said they've already adjusted the roster a few times i feel like they would have made space if they were planning to make more like you know why go through the process of like constantly changing the roster when you can just have it nice and neat for the all the characters to fit but the fact that they updated the intro is really what tells me that they're probably not gonna make any more dlc because again it seems like it's supposed to be a definitive intro representing the whole roster so it's like why do that if you're planning to make dlc still, you know again it's possible that they still do make dlc you know they still could same thing with xenoverse they could still make more stuff but i don't know like to me it's just it's a little bit sus you know like i don't i don't think that they're gonna keep making dlc just because of all that but the other point i wanted to bring up so the main the main three points here are xenoverse fighters and then actually the super anime because here's my theory on all like I'll, i'm gonna tell you the big theory at the end so another thing that happened is the dragon ball official website you know they they have a new website it's called you know dragon ball official it's a new website that which i'll put on the screen to show you what the announcement was but there's actually information on the website letting us know what it's going to be about so it's basically an announcement saying the website's going to open up soon uh it's going to support i think 10 different languages I, I don't have it pulled up in front of you right now but i just i'm just going off the top of my head i think it's got like 10 different languages it's going to support and yeah it's like it's like saying that the that the the website is opening up it's like it's coming soon that's what we know about it so the thing with that is again th this could mean nothing but there was a website for dr the dragon quest or adventures of die anime the new one they kind of did this same thing before it was called i think it's called adventures of die official same thing with this website it's called dragon ball official it's a hub where you know they have all the latest information on anything dragon ball like the games manga it's all on this website but the thing with you know the adventures of die the thing that happened with that anime is when the website was made and it was like finalized it was like published a few months later that's when that's when the anime actually came back and they made a new anime for dragon quest so it's possible that you know that that's you know that super dragon ball is going to do the same thing now here's the theory here so let's say that they do bring back super like let, let's say everything i'm saying is true like there's no more dlc coming for both games after what's after you know xenoverse the last dlc oh i didn't talk about kakarot too kakarot they did say that this is going to be the final dlc so again i feel like with kakarot and fighters like it'd be weird to end now because those games they could definitely keep on going xenoverse people are kind of tired of but fighters and kakarot they could definitely keep going so what i'm thinking is that so let's say 
that the super anime is coming back, right? That that's what the website's about. The anime is coming back. I think that's why they're not making any more DLC for these games. Because think about it like this: so the super anime, it should be animating the Moro arc, right? Which you know people did really like the Moro arc, and then the newest arc right now is Granola. So it's possible that we get that in a game form too. But here's my thing: if they stop making DLC for this game, like Xenoverse, for example, let's take Xenoverse. So let's say, you know, they could just keep go waiting till the anime shows up. Like, let's say the anime is coming back. They could just make Moro DLC for Xenoverse 2, right? Why why make Moro? Like, if the, if the Super Anime is coming back, why sell us Moro for Xenoverse 2 when they could make Xenoverse 3, which, you know, a big game people have been hyping about. They can make Xenoverse 3, because, you know, people have been complaining Xenoverse 2 is getting so much DLC. A lot of people just want Xenoverse 3. So if the anime is returning, they could make Xenoverse 3 and then sell us the DLC for Moro that way. People would probably be way more hyped for it. They'd probably get more sales, I'd say. Because, I mean, if he was in Xenoverse 2, sure, people are going to buy it. But if he's in Xenoverse 3, which especially if they're making this a way better game than Xenoverse 2, more people are going to buy it. They're going to get more sales. Like, I'm, I'm just, like looking at it from a, a marketing standpoint. Xenoverse 3, you know, the newest, hottest Xenoverse game. Selling us new manga content from there would probably get them more sales than if they just sold it for Xenoverse 2, you know? Which, I mean, it'd be cool if they sold it for Xenoverse 2, but I think if they sell it for Xenoverse 3, it'll make them a lot more money. And, like, I, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be a better idea for them to sell it for, you know, Xenoverse uh, 3. If they make Xenoverse 3 and then just sell it to us that way. Like, to me, that makes a lot of sense. That, like, I could see that happen. But, again still possible that you know they just keep making more dlc because like i said i'm pretty like i'm 90 percent sure they have all the characters from the vote already made if they're already confirming the release date so yeah which tells me but so i don't know i wonder if they because here's the thing about that too is did they make the character specifically for the vote because like those are those are interesting characters to make specifically for dlc i feel like it'd make more sense if they've been making a lot of characters recently for who knows, you know, a new game, possibly. And they just picked a few characters that they've already made for Xenoverse 3. You know, that just makes sense to me. So, and then the other thing with Fighters and Kakarot not getting DLC is they probably just want more sales. Because think about it, if they can put three new Dragon Ball games on the market, like, for Fighters, the one thing people really want is because, you know, Guilty Gear came out. There's a beta for Guilty Gear, which is the same company that's doing Fighters, Arc System Works. Their game, Guilty Gear, has rollback netcode, which, to put it in, like, easy terms it makes better like it makes the online connection for matches a lot better so that's one thing people have been wanting so if they start making D dlc and then drop xeno or fighters 2 with rollback because i think they already confirmed they're not doing rollback for this game but a fighters 2 could get rollback you know which is what people really want and it's just like i said the fact that they're it kind of seems like they're done making dlc is kind of interesting to me and then kakarot with them not making dlc for kakarot anymore that could mean either they're making a new game, right? Like, because we're supposed to get a Dragon Ball game every year, but I feel like the contract probably changed because of COVID-19. So maybe they just need to do it every other year. So maybe next year we'll get the new Dragon Ball game. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But yeah, but I f so I feel like uh, that's why like Kakarot isn't getting any more DLC either because they're probably making a new game, like something completely new. Or maybe they're going to start working on Kakarot 2 that covers, like, Super and stuff. I mean, I don't think it's going to come out next year, but maybe they want to start working on that. Because they knew Kakarot did a lot. So, that's pretty much my theory, though. Just, obviously, a lot of this is just going to come down to announcements. I'll update you when we get more information on Legendary Pack 2. But, fight, to me, Fighters is, like, the big green light for my theory right now. Like, it's kind of like... Because I don't see why they would want to stop DLC unless something big's happening, you know? Because... If there's nothing major coming this year, why would they stop and make, like, a definitive intro? Like, I don't know. To me, Fighters is, like, the biggest sign saying that, oh, we're doing something. You know, there, there's something big coming. Like, we're making a new game or something. And then same with Xenoverse. Which, Xenoverse, again, it's a little more skeptical because we don't know what's happening with Legendary Pack 2. They haven't really said if it's the last DLC. But I feel like it would make sense. Because, I don't know. And I think it also depends on when in fall it's coming out. Because if it's coming out, like, October... That means we probably wouldn't be getting DLC for winter, right? Like, if they did Legendary Pack 3, it'd be 2022. But if they're going to drop all the characters, that means we wouldn't get... 
Like, we'd be getting DLC until, if they follow the pattern, until, like, summer next year. That's the last DLC would come out. It'd be a lot. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I feel Legendary Pack 2 could be the final one, and that's why they're letting us vote. Like, let us vote for the final DLC. I feel like that's pretty fitting, you know? I think it'd be a good way to end off Xenoverse 2 DLC. Just let us pick the characters, you know? That, that just makes sense to me. But... I don't know, like I said, this is all purely speculation. We'll have to see what happens this year with announcements like, uh, you know, the, dry, the anime for Super coming back. We'll have to see what they announce for, uh, what they announce for Xenoverse, like what's going to happen with the DLC. We'll have to see with Fighters is truly giving Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta the last slot, which I'm excited for. I might, I might make some videos over that just because I love Gogeta is my favorite character. In fact, you can probably see in the background right now, I'm playing, or at least when I was talking about fighters, or some point in this video, I was playing as Gogeta in fighters in the background. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what they announce, though. But, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe you have some more points, or maybe some counter arguments to my theory. You want to poke holes in it. Like, you know, just let me know what you think, and we can discuss it. But, yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there, just talk about the stuff that kind of I put together in my brain. Just, just stuff that kind of seems a little bit suspicious that i wanted to connect but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys so till next time i'll see you all later and if you like this video that much make sure you drop it down into your favorites playlist make sure you like subscribe share it around to your grandma your grandpa your grandparents you know anyone who you know that like dragon ball and keeps up with the news you know share it around to them maybe they can give some more insight you know people who are more inside on the job maybe they can you know provide some info i don't know something just or maybe people want to agree with the theory. Maybe this can get talked about. I don't know. I just wanted to put my theory out there, though. So you could just share it around if you like the theory. Or you know, even if you want to make your own counter-argument to it. Just, you know, whatever you want to do. Share it around. But yeah. Till next time, though. I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day, y'all.